This equation, you graph it on the calculator and it comes up looking like this. And you hit second trace and you get the numbers 1.5 and 3. From there, you take 3 and you bring down the numbers in the equation 2, 1, 17, 9, and 45. And you bring down the 2 and you multiply 3 and 2, which is 6, and then you either add or subtract. So here you get 5 and you multiply the 5 with the 3 and you get 15 and this ends up being negative 2 and negative 2 times 3 is negative 6 which is negative 15 and negative 15 times 3 is 45. Negative 45. From there you take 1.5 and you take these numbers and bring them down. So it's 2, 5, negative 2, and negative 15. And you bring down the 2. You multiply 2 and 1.5, which is 3. 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 times 1.5 is 12. 12 minus 2 is 10. 10 times 1.5 is 15. 15 cancels out. So you take the 2, the 8, and the 10, and you substitute, well, you make 2x squared because you're knocking off two of the x's, and you get 2x squared plus 8x plus 10 equals 0, and you enter that in your calculator in quadizzle, and your answer is negative 2 plus i and negative 2 minus i. So I have to simplify this problem right here. So uh, what you have to do is multiply uh, these two sides together. So you take the um, 3 squared and, and that stays the same because you have the 2 3 squared. And then you take the 4 and the 12, you multiply them together, you get 48. And x it stays x3 because uh, you don't have anything to multiply with. And then y times the y7 because you add the 5 and the 2 together. Um, and then you have to pull out the coefficients. So uh, you see how many times 3 goes into uh, the exponents. So uh, you pull out 1x because 3 goes into 3 once. You pull out 2y's because 3 goes into 7 twice. And you're left with 48y. And so then you have to simplify the 48, so take the 48 and you break it down into uh, 12 and 4. And you break the 4 down into 2 and 2. You break the 12 down into 4 and 3. You break the 4 down into 2 and 2 again. And because it's 3 uh, squared, you have to take the 3 2's and you pull that out as a 2. And then the, you multiply the 2 and the 3 together, so that's 6. So then your final answer will be 2xy squared and 3 cubed to 6y. This you do the AC method, this you do difference of squares, um, also the AC method for this one, and this one you can find the greatest common factor. Alright, so this I'm going to replace with x plus 2, x minus 2, because x minus 13, x minus 2, because there's an x squared there, and you split that up, and 2 times 2 equals 4. Voila, okay. <laughs> and for this one, this one's just going to become x times x minus 1, because there was x squared here, so we just split that up, and this would be back to the one. Okay, now getting to the more hard stuff, there's this problem, x, you have to factor this, that turns into um, x squared minus 1x minus 2x plus 2. You want to group these. Um, 
So this, you can you take out an X. That's all you can take out because there's one X here and there's and there's two X here. So this is just gonna be X minus one. That X has now been cut out. And now you can take out this negative two here and that's all because there's no X here. So it's gonna be X plus one. Oh, X minus one, excuse me. Okay, um, now that now you combine these x minus two, x minus one. If these aren't the same, then you've done something wrong. But they are the same. <laughs> so I'm gonna just erase all this and just substitute that right here. This right here. X minus two, x minus one, x minus one. Okay. So now that we got this side done, we're gonna do this one over here. This one is let me erase that better. <laughs> x squared plus five x plus six. So you gotta factor that out, and that's gonna be x squared plus three x plus two x uh, plus six. I didn't explain this before, but these numbers add up to five and they also multiply to six and that's why they're in the middle. Um, so now you just group this. When you group this, you can take one X out. You can't take anything else out because there's only one X here. So you have X plus three. And over here you can take a two out. X stays in plus three. So now you combine these together, x plus 2, because <laughs> I'm out of space, and x plus 3. So those are now what you put on the numerator of the right side, x plus 2, x plus 3. Okay, so now that everything's been factored, you're ready to cancel things out and completely um, eliminate everything. <laughs> okay, so you take x minus two, x plus two and cancel that out with this x plus two. Um, this x minus one can cancel out with this x minus one, and that's all you can cancel out. So x minus two, x minus two, times x plus three over x. These are the same thing, so you take these out too, and this is going to be your final answer: x plus three over x. Yeah. yeah, for the dogs then, you know. So I drew the grid to save time and the, I the y-axis and the x-axis. And here's the problem, we have to graph that. And with, and with other problems, it could be a V, it could be an eyebrow. And but this is going to be a V because it's an absolute value. So you see the Y. So that tells us that it's going to be on the y-axis. And this is our point where we graph up to four. So we go up four, one, two, three, four. And that's where we start. But then that's but then we see x plus three. We see that that's going negative, so we gotta go negative three. So our actual starting point is up four and three to the left. So that's where we start, and you see that it's two. So normally the slope would be one if it was no number. And let's say that number was five the slope will be five. So once we see that it's right there, we go up to, to the right one, roughly, and then we go up two to the left one. And generally you want to get about two, maybe three. I'll go three for the better of understanding. So as you see, it, the shape goes to a V, and when you're done, you want to obviously take a ruler, but I don't have one at the second. You want to take a ruler and draw a line through the shape and put arrows on it when you're done. I got my city doing front flips. Whenever you buy the mayor, wrap a jump So, for my problem, we had to solve x plus 4 raised to the 3 over 2 equals negative 64. And the first step you want to do is you want to get the x plus 4 alone. So to do that, you're going to raise 3 over 2 to its reciprocal. So it'll cancel out. But then what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. 
So you have to raise this to the 2 over 3 too. And once you get that, you'll end up getting x plus 4 equals 16. You can drop the parentheses now. The 16 comes from 60, negative 64 raised to the 2 over 3. So once you get x plus 4 equals 16, you're going to subtract 4. And what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. And then you're just left with x equals 12 as your answer. Don't mind. Yeah, 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 yeah.